break as Diogo Dallo set Manchester United on their way before Marcus Rashford made it too redemption for Ronel. Welcome back to Old Trafford. Manchester United have beaten Sheriff by three goals to nil in the Europa League. Cristiano Ronaldo back in the starting 11 for Eric United. Face Real Sociedad next week Thursday, knowing that they will be the group winners if they win by at least a two goal margin. Hard side would mean Man United and Real Sociedad cannot be separated on points or on their head to head record. So top spot would then be decided by goal difference Real Sociedad are two goals ahead of Manchester United on that, three goals ahead of Manchester United on that front. So the Spanish, if they only lose by a one goal margin, one goal away from a hundred in a United shirt. He's been talking. I suppose that you could get the job done. They, um, you know, I think they, they set up to defend well and, and, and play on the counter attack. Um, it took us a, a while in the first half. Uh, we actually got the goal from, from a set piece. So and we created a lot more chances. We could have had a couple more goals as well. A sense from the team coming into the break at halftime of, of frustration that that. Um, I think it's a, it's a mix, you know, between frustration and just calmness. Uh, you have to be calm to keep creating the chances. Um, I think the fact that we scored just before halftime is a big help. Um, and to to come off the bench and, and make an impact on the game, you're just one a landmark hundred goals for for the club. Did that enter your thoughts at all? To it's about getting the job done, you know. Um, it's it's it will be nice when it does happen. Um, you know, it'd be a great achievement for, for for myself and for my family. You know, we not we have to go there and score two goals. We have to win by two goals. Um, so you know, we'll, we'll we'll do what we always do. We'll try and create chances, try and score goals. Um, and but you know, we're looking forward to the challenge. And yeah, I think um, you know, it's it's took a lot of hard work um, and a lot of time as well to to adapt and change. Um, but we're understanding it more and more now. Um, you know, we are keeping more and more clean sheets. We're defending better. We just be By the numbers there, 99 goals for Manchester United at 24. I just think, I think that's amazing. Um, I think the talent's there for Marcus. You know, he can play in so many different positions. Just needs to get a, get a few more goals. But I think what he's been able to achieve at such a young age, Scalzi, is, is pretty, pretty amazing. Incredible, yeah, not just the goals he scored, his appearances as well. I think 24 years, 316. 360. It, it's incredible, really. And look, the lad's a real talent. He burst onto the scene when people didn't really expect him to. And look, he does get a little bit of stick for his finishing, but uh, he does like to smash the ball a lot. He's <laughs> not much of a place in the corners. But I, I think he could develop that. He's still young, 24. I, I think that can come to his game. And he would like to score more goals, but he's a real threat and he makes a lot of chances himself as well. He's not someone who relies on everyone to make chances. He can go past people. He's united. Stuff dreams are made of. His overall game this season has been good scores, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, uh, his he... link-up play and leading the line and you know, I think he's doing a lot of things really well. The goals will come. 99 to 24. I mean, that is it's amazing. By the time he's finished, he could have 250 goals for United, which is... I think under Ten Hag as well, he's, he, he's found a little form. And actually, you'd say over the last 18 months, he's been a little bit quiet, maybe confidence had gone a little bit. But I think under Ten Hag, he's had a, a new lease of life. Why do you feel to Eric Ten Hag? Multi player, Marcus. You know, he's got so much talent. He's got everything you need to be the perfect uh, attacker. You know, can play multiple positions. He's quick, he's got great size, goals, he's, he's got great technique. Um, everything's there. I just think, obviously, when you start and you burst onto the scene, you do so well. I think his confidence has been hit. You know, they had a lot of options, didn't they? With Ronaldo and Martial and all these different players, and he hasn't always played all the time. So, um, I, lo I, I love his talent, I really do. And I think he's, you know, he just needs to be a little bit more consistent in front of goal, and it, the goals will fly in for him. He took his goal well tonight. The goal ahead, I'm not sure. I think he likes to be outside the box, you know, having shots, because he, he likes that. But in there, there's plenty of goals, especially the way they dominated the game, United, with all the possession. If he's in there, the goals are come Six, which is more than he scored in the entire of last campaign. Is he hitting form at the... Uh, <laughs> as an English, uh, ex-English English player, yeah, of, uh, of course, yeah. And as we said, he, he did have a bit, a little, little bit of a lull in his career, and I think Ten Hag has really come in and given him confidence. He, he's his main man, I think, in them attacking areas. He always fit, he's, he's, he's never injured. And as I always said, he, he's got everything to his game. You would like to see his finishing. The only thing you'd like to see his finishing get a little bit better, but he creates chances for himself. He can play on the left-hand side, he can play through the mirror, play on the right-hand side. He gives you so many options and he's, you know, so far this season, he's been fantastic. He does think he gets the best out of himself. What position is his best on the pitch? That little left-hand channel. I think they all do. Martial, Jaden Sancho, I think they all prefer not to be the, the centre forward. I think they prefer left not, and not wide left, kind of narrow off that left-hand side. I think it suits them. Um, but I'm, I'm a scholar. I just think he can play anywhere. 
you know, and I think if he can hold down one position, then he can probably get that consistency. But again, you know, to have that, that those stats at 24 years old, he's 25 on Monday, you know, that honestly, that deserves a, a huge compliment. All of the talk heading into the game, Cristiano Ronaldo would start for Manchester United. Eric Ten. Um, their, their proper centre forward's goals, Evan, that's probably something that is. Wanted it. That's why he was so frustrated. Um, which just shows his instincts are there. The finishing will come, you know, it's just, um, I think it's amazing. I think there's a huge compliment to be playing at this level still at 37, you know, and he wants to be, he wants to play all the time. He doesn't want to sit and watch. He doesn't want to go quietly. You know, father time is undefeated in every athlete, you know, and I appreciate that he's trying to hang on and play as long as he can. And I think the goals will come from, you know, he's, he's not scoring in the rate we saw last season, but if he keeps playing, I'm sure the goals will fly in for him. Will everything be put to bed and be forgotten and be moved on? I think it was before the game. I think the way the manager's handled it has, uh, has been perfect. He's, he's dealt with it. He's come to this game. He's got prepared for this game. And try not to answer any, any more about it. It's done. It's dusted, as we said before. And Cristiano is not somebody who will think about what, what's happened in the past. He'll only look forwards now. He'll try and score as many goals as he can. Is he... Will he still be here for the rest? I, I think he will be. I still think he has a lot to offer. It won't be in the way that he wants, but I think he'll, he'll probably come around to understanding that now. There'll still be games when he's needed and his goals will be needed because he you know, he, he produces most of the time what, what his club needs. And, and this team, they will need important goals going through the season if they're going to be successful. And I think he's always handy to have around. Was the youngster, 18-year-old Garnacho? What can he learn from this thing on the pitch with him? The right-footed winger playing on the left-hand side. Sometimes they can't go down that left-hand side, but he did. He, he could do both, and it makes you so unpredictable. As always said, he probably missed an assist and a and a goal, but I thought his performance was exciting, really exciting for an 18-year-old kid. And he really is one to look for the future. He'd only five minutes in a Manchester United shirt before tonight. So this was really his biggest opportunity to show the manager what he can do across. He, he didn't disappoint. I think the fans would have loved him. We all enjoyed show his family. He'll have a, a proud moment. You know, all these guys come from such a far place to, to achieve their dream, to play out there on Old Trafford. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And I thought, he, I thought he did fantastic tonight. Has he proved to start in the Premier League at the weekend against West Ham? Or do you expect... Um... Or neither? D yeah, d difficult to say. He's still, still very young. Um, you're playing against opposition, opposition tonight, which isn't the strongest. We, we all appreciate that, but I I'm not sure he'll start on Sunday or Thursday. But he's definitely an option for the manager. He's definitely gave him something to think about. He could be one to come on for the last 20, 30 minutes. He could be, as you say, more dangerous some of the players that I've been playing every week because of the basic fact he can go past people on, on either side. and. You know, there's not that many wingers who can do that these days. And look, he's uh, when when you come into a team, you have to take your chance as a young player. We, we talked about Marcus uh, as a young player burst onto the scene. You have to take your chance, and I think tonight, I don't think he's done himself any harm. Do you think he's made a case to start? Maybe not start, but he's he's in the manager's thoughts now. Whereas obviously before, with the, the minutes you said he he, prob he probably wasn't. He's in now. You know, he's in. But they've got you know they've got Sancho, they got Alanka, they got Marshall. You know, Anthony, they got all these different options. But if he plays like that, he'll he'll definitely play a lot more. Goals to nil, and they're now seven matches unbeaten under Eric Ten Hag. We'll get the thoughts of the Manchester United manager after the break. Give us your thoughts on that. Okay, uh, and of course you hope you score in the first half hour, and then second just before half time, so that took a little bit long, uh, but I think we deserved that goal, and then you score from set play, uh, perfect, more goals, and good goals, uh, out of open play, so I'm happy with that, also we'll give nothing away, so we, I don't know if that are, are the words, it's more to bring more numbers in, um, to get behind the defending line of the opponents, uh, and that's especially about occupation, the zones in the box, and that is what we can do better. To, to score a goal tonight, how pleased were you to see him finish the game off? And um, yeah, He created, the team creates for him, um, and we know we have the capabilities to finish and it will come, And but yeah, uh, he needs uh, a goal uh, to get uh, over a dead point, I would say, and then we'll come more goals. I'm confident of that. Was that a, an injury? Was that something that was planned? Or was that a reaction to, to the spin? That was... 
uh, close together. Uh, that was one of the reasons to bring another dynamic over the right side. I thought uh, over the left side, uh, Canaccia was playing quite well. Uh, he had a really a threat in his actions, really good. So that was good to see. Uh, uh, that, that crazy penalty, that, uh, that's uh, what we get in the first uh, game. Uh, um, yeah, we have to deal with that. So that means we have to, to win there and we have to win with two, two goals difference. And more or less. More or less. Um, I think it would have had a little bit of something to do with it. I think you saw his reaction on the bench. I think it frustrated. <laughs> or even before that, the first half an hour, 40 minutes, whatever it was before that. Or if you're 4 it, you did nothing in the game. Well, yeah. yeah, then you, you might do. But even if you're 3 or 4 now, what, what does that do for you? Does that annoy the fans? No, I think, no, I think you're curious. You're thinking, what's he, what's he going to do? I thought one spin's fine. <laughs> the second one, I think... <laughs> Two's pushing it. No, no, it, it's just, what you know, I think we all want to see skill. We all love that. But the point is, you need to have skill with function. You know, and you need to be moving forward. If he does it in and around somebody, around someone, I'll be jumping out my seat. Yeah. But the point is to do it like that with, with no effect. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what he was trying to achieve. Look, first of all, he's... To achieve, to be out on Old Trafford as a, a, as a Brazilian, he's achieved a lot by doing that. He probably wants to show this skill, which he does everywhere he goes. But the point, I, I just want to see it with a bit more closer to someone when you're up against someone. Um, but it, look, that's his, that's his skill. He likes to do it. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure it's skill, is it? It's, I, I think it's, 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 I think it's his thing, Scott. Can isn't we, it? Couldn't we do that? Yeah, but I think he, he, he probably wanted to. He probably wanted to show people that he is. Is it his trademark? You think? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think he just wanted to do that at Old Trafford. But the point is, do one and then get forward and then take somebody on. I think he needs a better one. Don't you? <laughs> I think he's got a, a more I think, entertaining one. I think he's got probably better, better one coming. I think somebody <laughs> somebody would have told him, Scholes, don't you think? What, not to do it? No, no, I think now, uh, maybe or before people would have said they would like to see that. Was I think, I'm not sure in this country we like to sure. see tricks. Yeah, this country, any country, it, 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 Brazil. <laughs> it, 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 Brazil don't want to see that, do they? Well, Ajax in Holland, do they want to see that? No, but I think people like to see... Yeah, skill. I like, to, I like yeah. to see skill and just entertainment. Not, just not two, but not two spins. I don't think that's skill. One. I don't think that's skill or entertainment. That's just being a clown, isn't it? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. should we focus on the match next week? <laughs> to reiterate, in this new format of the Europa League, if you go through as the group winners, you go straight through to the round of 16, avoiding the extra playoff round where you could face a team like Barcelona or Sevilla who have already been confirmed as dropping into the Europa League United obviously want to avoid the extra two games. Ideally, I think with the Premier League and, and you know, the fi fixture congestion, but do you know what? It's going to be tough there next week. And I, I don't care. I don't mind if they go through as top or not. I want to see. I want to see Barcelona. Uh, you want a trip to the uh, new oh, camp, yeah, don't trip you? To, of course I do, yeah. I'd love to go and watch Barcelona and Man United again. They're proper European nights. We don't want to see rubbish like we've seen tonight and the, the Ammonia game. It's just, it's not entertaining. Barcelona, imagine the difference, the atmosphere, the quality of players, it'd just be great to watch. Look, they're in a super place, United. You know, they've been some really good teams this season. They beat Tottenham, they beat Chelsea, uh, Arsenal, Liverpool. They can go there easily and win by two goals. So I think they're in a good place, defensively, offensively. Bounce of the team is good. I expect them to go there and win. It'll be tough, but I think they're going to get the job done. And Guaya, good to see him back fit, back out on the pitchers pitch and got a nice reception from the crowd yeah. and he didn't have a great deal to do out on the pitch tonight. Yeah, it is, yeah. look, he's, he's had a tough time and these, these fans here will, will get behind him. They realise how difficult the last year to 18 months has been for him. We, we want him to get back to the player he is, the player he, he can be. We know, look, that wasn't a test tonight, as you said. There'll be a bigger test to come if he plays next week, if he plays against West Ham on Sunday. No, then that'll be a, a true test of his form. So, look, fingers crossed he gets back to the Harry Maguire we, we all know. Yeah, with how much game time do you expect Harry Maguire to get between now and the World Cup? I was really happy for him. These fans are brilliant, you know, they give him a big clap. Uh, I think he'll be delighted to be fit, start playing, and obviously they've got the World Cup coming up, so he'll be ready to get going, but I'm delighted the reception the fans gave him. Okay. Oh,